Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Baby Billionaire, and today's video is going to be one of my short little synthetic wig reviews. So if you guys want to know more about this beautiful wig that I have on, then keep on watching. All right guys, so for starters, I ordered this wig from samsbeauty.com. I will make sure I leave the exact price also on the screen here as well, just because I don't remember. I kinda did like a bulk order. I don't remember exactly how much I paid for this particular unit. So this is a um, lace part lace parting unit um, that you can just kind of like leave your edges out which is how I like to wear my wigs. I just kind of take out my edges and usually I would start to maybe pluck this parting. Plucking the parting will make all the difference in your synthetic or any wig or closure period but definitely in your synthetic wigs plucking that part takes them from looking synthetic to more natural-esque but at the same time I'm not one of those people that I care too much about um, how, I'm not gonna say how my wig looks because I care how my wig looks but it is kind of like I keep my synthetic wigs on for two to seven days maximum like I don't keep my synthetic wigs for four weeks on end I just I just don't because they synthetic because it's not real here so then secondly just about the parting it does have like the J parting that's underneath the cap here and I would definitely recommend applying some concealer to your parting or plucking your parting um, doing some um, Mama. <laughs> doing some manipulation to your um, synthetic lace can take your wig from looking basic to looking like it's a sew-in. So if you have the extra time, try to do that to your wig. Me personally, I don't care to do it because I keep my synthetic wigs on for two or three days and I'm gonna be cute regardless. So it is what it is. So with that being said, um, the texture of this hair is more of a yakky texture. Now when you first get it out of the packaging, it will feel more like a silky press texture, which I prefer. But after wearing it for a few days, I guess just the wear and tear, the silicone will dry off of the hair and it'll be more of this just kind of like a natural yakky texture. I do wish that the wig would kind of stay a little bit more fine, but it definitely does help it to look a lot more natural. Now as far as length goes, this wig is probably about a 20, 22 maybe inch wig um, and I really love it for that just because I can wear it like if I know I'm not going to be able to get my hair done, if I want to go on like a date night or if I just want to do something a little bit more, I don't know, festive I guess um, and I need my hair done, I know I can count on this wig to come through and look like a sew-in. That's what I love about it. Um, and from the back, the length is a little bit more. As you guys can see, it's like literally to my waistline. If I pull it down, now curled is, curled is about my mid-back. But if I pull it down, it's about right here. Um, so I love this wig for that. And as you guys can see, this wig has so much body. Like if I didn't tell y'all this is a wig, y'all wouldn't know. Y'all would not know this is no wig. Y'all wouldn't know like that. That's how you know it's a good wig. When y'all wanna know, girl, what? Y'all wanna know. Now, with all that being said, this is like one of my top favorite straight synthetic wigs, or you know, straight esque synthetic wigs. But the only con I will say about Carissa is that Carissa will tangle on you. I get a lot of tangling right here in my nape area and I have to do this. Like I really have to kinda put some pressure on it to start to get those tangles out. As you know, that's kind of expected with um, synthetic hair cause it's not real hair. So we can't expect everything in the world from a $30 synthetic unit versus 500 raw version hair. So you know, that just kinda is what it is but definitely something that I thought that I would share with you guys. Cause this is not one of those wigs that you're gonna be able to wear for three weeks, four weeks, I don't think so. Um, I guess as the wig gets older and older, you might can get a good two, a hard three out of it. And that's if you really, really are taking really, really good care of your wig and cutting the ends as they're getting nappy. Just because, like I said earlier, the texture on this hair does just change over time. And I'm usually pretty gentle on my wigs, just period. And the texture will change over time. So that is it, that is all I have for this wig. I just like doing these short videos, showing you guys how the wig actually looks on. Cause y'all know, 
Y'all know they be playing us with them hair store pictures that's on a tag. Like, sis, y'all didn't even try to put it on her hair, right? It just be so, like, them pictures be the worst pictures in the world to try to sell something. I don't understand why they don't take better pictures. But I just wanted to come and show you guys what the wig actually looks like on. Didn't do any cutting, styling, any type of manipulation. I literally just set the wig on my head. Um, so these are my thoughts on the wig. If you guys have worn Carissa before, make sure you guys tag me on Instagram. I want to see your beautiful faces in this wig, okay? Okay. Make sure y'all tag me on Instagram. I will leave my Instagram right here across the screen for y'all. I love y'all so much. And if you are not subscribed, really sis if you are not subscribed make sure you subscribe before you go and i will see you guys in the next video